Am I the a-hole for punishing my son after he said something racist? About a week ago, my family ordered Chinese food for delivery. When the delivery driver came to the door, my daughter was taking the cat upstairs to put in her room, because he always tries to eat the food. My son loudly says, make sure to hide the cat from the Chinese guy, as I am at the door getting the food from the Chinese delivery driver. He very obviously heard what my son said and was upset by it. I quickly apologized and took the food. I told my son that racist jokes were completely unacceptable and very wrong, and he refused to admit that he was in the wrong. So, later that night I forced my son to write a sincere apology to the delivery driver, his name was on the receipt, as well as write a one-page paper on Chinese culture, and a one-page paper on why racism is perpetuated by racist jokes and stereotypes. Then the next day, I took him to the restaurant and had him read his apology aloud to the delivery driver, as well as give him the papers he wrote. The driver was very appreciative of the apology and thanked me, for making my son do it. He then told my son about multiple instances where he had faced racist comments and attacks from people while he was a delivery driver. That night my husband and I, got into an argument, about me making our son do this. He told me that it was embarrassing for our son to have to do the apology, and that the, punishment didn't fit the crime. I told him that it was much more embarrassing for the driver, to have to face that kind of racism and racist stereotypes, and that our son would get over the embarrassment. I do not condone any kind of hateful thinking in my house, and the fact that my son said that embarrassed me as well. My husband told me that it was, just a joke, and it wasn't that big of a deal. I feel like I might have overreacted some, but I think it's important to help my son understand how what he said was wrong and hurtful. No, you are not the a-hole for punishing your son after he made a racist comment. Racism should not be tolerated or accepted, and it is important to teach children the gravity of their actions and words. Making your son apologize and write about Chinese culture, and the impact of racism on individuals, is a good way to help him understand the severity of his actions and learn from them. The delivery driver appreciated the apology, and it is important for your son to learn about the real-life impact of racism and stereotypes. It is not embarrassing to teach your child about empathy and respect, and it is essential to promote a safe and inclusive environment in your home. Am I the a-hole for asking for a certain ethnicity employee serve me? I'm Canadian-Italian, while I speak English, my parents do not, growing up I spoke Italian at home and English at school. I used to live in a neighborhood in Toronto with a predominant Italian population. Our childhood grocery store was Italian-run, and while you could make do in English shopping there, you can forget about the patisserie counter, deli counter, etc. unless you spoke at least some proficiency in Italian. Pointing at food only got you so far since many of the employees spoke Italian first. It's been 25 years since I've been to this grocer, and for some nostalgia's sake, as well as I had some errands in Toronto, I drove up and thought I'd surprise my husband back home, with some nice cold cuts and pastries from my old stomping grounds. I'm doing my shopping and I can tell things have changed. I know the grocer is still family-run, but a lot of the employees are no longer Italian. This is whatever. I do my shopping and get to the deli counter and start asking for some specific things, and half of the things I wanted, the employee doesn't know what it is or cannot find it. This employee isn't Italian, so I ask her if there's an Italian employee who can help me. This would go a lot faster and smoother if I can ask for what I want in Italian. Plus, an Italian employee is going to know every single thing I ask for and where to find it. A lot of products have Italian names, or I don't know the name but can describe it well enough in Italian. I guess my request was taken abrasive, but she ended up calling over someone who could speak Italian and off we go. The first employee told me it was rude to speak in a different language in their presence, and she assumed I was talking about her without her knowing. She said it was racist to assume she couldn't do her job because of her ethnicity or language. I just wanted some cold cuts. Was I the it's not necessarily wrong to want an employee who speaks Italian to help you with your deli order, especially if it would make the process smoother and more efficient. However, it's how you went about it that could be problematic. Asking if there is an Italian employee who could help you is reasonable, but phrasing it as, is there an Italian employee who can help me? Can come across as exclusionary and potentially offensive to non-Italian employees. It would have been better to simply ask if there is an employee who speaks Italian who can assist you. 
Additionally, the first employee's concerns about feeling excluded or insulted are valid. It's important to be mindful of how your words and actions may be perceived by others. While you may not have intended to come across as racist or disrespectful, it's possible that your request could have been interpreted that way. Overall, it's a delicate situation, but it's important to be respectful and considerate of others in your interactions. So, while you may not be the asshole for wanting an Italian speaking employee to assist you, the way you communicated your request could have been improved. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable notifications and stay updated with our latest videos. To catch up on all the stories, you can access the playlist located at the top of the description.